<clears throat> Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review Episode 335. No new episode like uh, of the anime this week. Yeah, I mentioned it last week. It's just a clip show aired today. So we had the manga. We have the one, chapter 1106 on your side. The cover image is Rear's Request. Robin giving a crocodile a cute outfit. Yep, that's your cover image. So, we have a lot of shocking stuff happening, of course, this chapter. Let's get started. So, yeah, Luffy consumes a bunch of food and goes to Gear 5. Buster Call is basically going on, and the past feast is basically blasting away, and basically Kuma is protecting his daughter. Don't shoot us, Daddy! He'll have him escape the island! You hear that voice? Yep. And apparently, like, so the past feast has apparently listened to her? So the pit in the past to me decided to fire on the Navy ships. What? Yes, seriously, they fire on the Navy ships. They go haywire. Like, oh crap, all because of Kuma. Yeah, blasting his ships out like crazy. And then like, okay, so... Then something really shocking happens. St. Saturn stabs Vegapunk. No, Vegapunk. Eliminate them, Kazu, now. Yep. <laughs> of course, basically, um, he shines a shot at them. And I think it's supposed to be uh, somebody hits him. Kazu. And then, of course, basically, he's hit by this big fist. It's it's Luffy. Yep, Luffy stops him. And, of course, apparently, like, the ground becomes, like, a cartoon. Like, does that seem a shaking? Who cares about that? What's the best pieces? And of course, basically, they come with us wounded. They come with us. They'll kill you. Yep. And of course, Luffy goes. And of course, Bonnie sees Luffy's gear five form for the first, and he realizes that Bonnie. Yeah, all it's basically the very sure Kuma had lay on was the Nika Sun God, laughing like crazy. Bust the call is futile. Percentage people in the world have waiting for him. And then a giant ship comes out of nowhere. At the northeast side of this giant, humongous ship. Bigger than Navy ships come out of nowhere. Well, after northeast, there's an enormous ship heading our way. It's still over there, right? They, I thought they fell apart a hundred years ago. Should we stop them? Nah, charge them right through. Why are they here? Well, here they come. Fire! Why, why, why? They asked, Dory. When all happens, when all happens, the road in that Broggy. Bra, 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 bra. Go for you, Straw Hat. New state of emergency. Giant pirates have arrived. Yes. Dory and Broggy. First time these two appear in present day since Lil Garden. I'm like, what a what an awesome way to end this chapter. A return of two characters people not seen in years in present day. Like a giant pirate show you up. Yeah, now that's why I call it backup. <laughs> I wonder if oh, I wonder if Broggy knows that uh, some of his giants are part of the Straw Hat fleet. I wonder if he knows that. Well, that's a new giant pirate, but damn. Yeah, but having them show up is awesome. Yeah, now this is now this is definitely proving to be an awesome arc. I can't wait to see this animated in the anime because. It, Toei's going to have a blast with this chap when they adapt eventually. My guess is it might happen later this year, maybe, at most, because they're just starting the arc itself. But this chapter was amazing. 10 out of 10. This chap is awesome. Okay, so that's it, particular view. Next up, one more Metal Heroes review, and then it's on to Comic Corner, and then it's on to uh, Banished Air Party. So, like usual, please make sure to like, Comment and subscribe to me channel, turn on notifications, and do not hit that dislike button. Okay, next video. Bye.